uh, screw ups in terms of getting everything set up with both audio and now the video here on the YouTube channel. So first, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Really appreciate it if you would. Uh, anyway, welcome to the MFG show. Here we are. Episode 23, I believe, uh, which is great. Flying solo today here with the new setup, which I am really excited for. Um, you know, I think as I tried to mention before, uh, I took a long hiatus away from doing uh, the podcast, not because of, uh, of any reason other than I was really trying to figure out the direction I wanted this to go. You know, I, I did some of these solo ones and you know, a majority of the podcasts that I do because I enjoy talking. Those of you that know me uh, are, are not shocked by that in any way, shape or form. But I, I didn't enjoy the format that I had created. Uh, with, you know, the news that matters to me and sports and how to be a good human and all those things. So I really thought about what I wanted this podcast to be about uh, more specifically, uh, what I wanted it to be about, because I'm the one that's going to be doing 100% of it, right? So I, I wanted to do something that entertains, not only entertains me, but also helps me in the best way possible. And for me, uh, the best thing for me to do is to do it a new, uh, is to change it up just a little bit, right? We had a great conversation, telling a lot of great stories. We'll still have some funny stuff on here, but um, you know, these episodes, the, these flying solo episodes, uh, I'll still put my dazzling charm in for you all to to see and be a part of. But I really want to focus on uh, a specific topic each time uh, that may help some of you, may not. Uh, maybe give you a little nugget of something that you may enjoy. Maybe it won't. I don't, I don't know. Either way, I know it's going to help me because it's something I want to put out there. I want to provide value. Uh, that's really what it's all about. And today's topic, uh, we're going to start at literally the basics of it all, which is if there's something you want to do, just do it. I was inspired by this for a couple of different reasons. There's a lot of things I've seen recently. Um, that have really made me think about just that very basic, very basic topic. Um, you know, I, I started to see, uh, you know, as Facebook memories pop up and things like that on social media, um, I, I saw that the, this time last year, I was in the midst of doing 75 days hard uh, and, and going through it. And I watched one of my stories from one of my nighttime rucks that I thought was, uh, for me, something I, I, I think I got a little bit away from in the last couple of months, quite honestly, um, which was, Sometimes you don't have a choice. You just got to do it. I said that. Uh, we were, I was on a ruck. Uh, I was running out of time. I had a really busy day. needed to get the second workout in. There's no other choice but just to do it. Right? And I was like, wow. You know what? That, I've gotten away from the idea of just doing things. Sometimes you just need to do it. I was, I was talking with a good buddy of mine. I was away for my normal nine to fiver. Uh, working at a conference in Nashville this past weekend. And he said something to me that he's tried to do this year that I thought was really powerful that applied to this as well, which was, hey, uh, I, I decided this year that uh, if there's something I was going to do and it was going to take a minute or less to do it, I wouldn't say I'll just put this off and do it later. I was going to do it right then and there no matter what. He's like, and it's actually changed the way I do everything. Uh, it's made me more productive. Um, and he said the, the examples of that were things along the lines of like, you know, oh, oh I, I finished vacuuming, uh, but I'll put the vacuum away in a minute. Well, if it's going to take me less than a minute, no, I'm just going to put the vacuum away right now. Or, um, you know, the example I gave him that was really uh, interesting was, like, you know, anytime I've hung anything around the house or had to fix anything, and yes, I can fix things contrary to popular belief. I'm not mechanically inclined, but I am pretty smart. So I can figure shit out sometimes. But the, one of the things that always happens is whatever tool I use, whether it's a screwdriver, whether it is a... I don't know whether it's a hammer, whatever. Uh, typically, I'll do the thing and I'll just be like, all right, I'll, I'll walk that tool back downstairs, put it in my toolbox later. Um, no, I need to just put it away. And then for three consecutive days in a row, while I was sitting around, probably just wasting time, if we're being really honest, and wasting time on other things I could be doing, and just scrolling through Instagram Reels, right? Like we all do that. Uh, give it a follow there uh, at Goalies Playground. But the same Reel popped up three days in a row. And it, again, was another kind of genesis to, to really where I, I needed to start moving to, which was the, a video of Kobe Bryant, the, the late, great Kobe Bryant, uh, stating that um, when he makes a contract with himself, there is no negotiation. There is no negotiation, right? And there's, that's where I want to start this. And, and that's the part, I think, where most people struggle and most people have hard times is when you want to do something, 
If you want to get better at something, you just want to learn something new. What happens to a lot of us is that the excitement is there at the beginning. The excitement is there. You start and you get going. And maybe it's day three, maybe it's week two, maybe it's month two. It starts to get mildly monotonous or starts to get hard. And what happens right away, because life is being thrown at us and the way we've been conditioned to do everything as is right now, we start to negotiate with ourselves. Well, you know, I have been running every day and my goal was to get to a 5K at the end of three months, but I, I could take today off because I don't really feel like running or it's cold outside or the weather doesn't seem, it isn't perfect outside, but you know, I can make it up another day. That's negotiating with yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. There is no negotiation. If there's something you want to do, even if it means on days that you don't feel like it, you still do it anyway. You'll be amazed at what happens and what changes in life. I've applied, every time I've applied that principle, of, it doesn't matter if I don't feel like it today, I still just gotta. I've accomplished everything that I've tried to do with that. Every time. I've done several uh, endurance type events um, that, that I've documented in the past of, of going through. And the Lush has asked me on a number of occasions, she's like, I, it, it impresses me when you set a goal to do those things that how do you finish them when you get there? And when it, when it gets so hard, you know, 24 hour rucking events or 50 mile rucking events or, you know, workout events that go uh, 12 hours in a day. How do you do that? And I realized that it all came back to this principle. I don't negotiate with myself in those situations. When it's time to start that event or time to start the training for that thing, it's not done. Like I, I've agreed. I've set the contract in my brain that I'm going to train for this event to finish this event. So until the finish has arrived, the contract has not been honored. Therefore, there is no negotiation. There is no day off. There is no, well, maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. And, you know, like I said, that seeing that real, like three days in a row, it really stuck with me. And then what was funny is once after that one didn't show up anymore, another one showed up. That was from, you know, from, from Jocko Willink, uh, former Navy SEAL commander, who has turned into this, you know, monster kind of motivational piece, which is hilarious because the quote he states is that motivation is a feeling. It's not real. Discipline is what lasts and discipline is what gets things done. So not negotiating that contract with yourself on what you want to do is actually what discipline is. Discipline is doing that thing that you set out to do. And whatever that is, taking each step by step and doing it every single day. Right? There, there is no, if you want to accomplish something, whatever you break that down and reverse engineer down to a daily task for that thing, you cannot cannot negotiate, right? And maybe, maybe it is you just want to get in shape or maybe it is you are training for something physically. And, and, and I was talking to the Lush about this as well the one day where we were discussing, you know, rest days. When should I take a rest day? When my body's feeling tired and when is all this? And I remember a couple of years ago hearing Jocko say that when he trained fighters and things like that, the way that they would say it is if, if somebody said, man, I just really don't feel like it today. I feel like maybe I want to take the day off. The advice was, hey, don't take today off. Let's just go do it. Even if it means going through the motions, let's just go do it. And if afterwards you wake up tomorrow and you still feel like you want to take the day off, then yeah, maybe it is time for you to take a rest. Maybe your body does need that. And you need to listen to your body. He said, you know what happened 99% of the time? It was just one of those days. It was a hard day, right? We've all had those days, those hard days where, look, I want to get up early, but today it just feels so good to lay in bed because it's cold outside or I can hear it's raining outside. Get up anyway. Get up anyway. And don't use the weather or how comfortable you feel in bed or how comfortable you are not doing things. Whatever it is that you decide to do, make a contract of what that is. Whether it's something you want to improve, whether it's you want to get better, maybe it's that you know that you have let yourself go and you want to get yourself back in shape, and, but, but it's hard. Probably all your joints hurt 
or you're, you're not sure you have the time. Everybody has the time to do what's important to them. So all of these things that you may want to do, maybe you want to get better at playing an instrument. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to be better at the business you're in. It starts today, not Monday or the next day. Start the contract today. Start the contract today. Figure out what it is you need to do day by day to accomplish that thing that you want to achieve. And then make it a priority. Make it a priority. And when I say make it a priority, I mean that in your mind, no matter what, that's what you're going to get to. You're just going to get there. Nobody's going to stop you, including yourself. That's the biggest piece. Yourself will be your biggest enemy. Tell yourself, your, your bitch voice, right, that we hear all the time from people, your bitch voice inside. Tell your inner bitch to go away. Because today you're just going to try. And when, when that inner bitch is screaming, I just don't want it today. Whatever it is that would be the symbol of just going through the motions. Whether it's instead of working out hard, you just go for a walk. Whether it's instead of uh, practicing a really hard guitar solo, you're just going to work on some chord progressions. Whether it's, you know, instead of, uh, instead of writing uh, 10,000 more words for a book I want to accomplish, uh, today I'm just going to sit down and start writing, and as long as I get through at least a page, then I'll know. Because I'll guarantee you more than half the time that you were just going through those motions, as soon as you start going through the motions, that fire and all that stuff comes back and you'll realize and remember, this is why I wanted to do this. Okay, yeah, 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 here we go. And it starts going and you'll find. Now, there are going to be some of those days that are going to be tough and you are just going to go through the motions. Please know, please know that that's okay as long as you go through the motions. Don't negotiate that contract with yourself. Set it up, get it done, and then move on. I promise you. It will make you feel better. It'll give you more energy, no matter what it is. It'll get you excited and you'll know. It, everybody that is productive, that, that gets stuff done, the people you see that are happy, because that's what we were made for. Okay? And when you set that priority list and, and maybe you have to map out each day, the last piece of advice I would give you is that whenever you do to map out that day, map out that day not the way that you're thinking. What are the smallest things I can knock out? Which typically means, what are the easiest things I can do to get through today? Don't do the easiest things. If you follow me on social media at all, you understand and know that I always say, do hard things. So when you set your priority list for the next day to achieve your top priority, do the hardest thing first. Maybe your top priority is, is I want to be a better father or a better husband. What's going to be the hardest part of that? Maybe it's sitting down and having a conversation while you're in the car dropping your kid off to school that you wouldn't normally have with them. Maybe you guys sit in the car and it's quiet and you, or you sing to the music or you talk about silly stuff. Have a serious conversation. I don't mean serious, you know, and, and talk about death and the end of the world or whatever, right? I, I'm talking about at, find out more about who that person is. I don't think there's enough conversation with our children or with our significant others where we are trying to find out more about them. We always think, right, we've been with them for so long or we've known them since they were born because they're our kid or maybe they're not our kid. Maybe they're a stepkid, but I've known them since they were little. I, I know everything about them already. No, you don't. No, you don't. We're all always evolving. The hard thing is to have that conversation. So get that out of the way. And then later, you can do the easy stuff, send a flirty text or send a funny snap to your kids or uh, just give them a hug, right? Those are the easy things. Save those for later in the day. Knock out the hard things first. Then you won't be negotiating with yourself on that contract. Stay cool, friends. I appreciate you all tuning in. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us on the YouTube channel. And those of you that still listen to this podcast on a regular basis, where all the podcasts can be found, I appreciate you as well. You can watch the video of this podcast on the Goldie's Playground YouTube channel. 
Uh, find me on Instagram. Hit me up at Goldie's Playground there as well. 